the Caribbean is a great destination for vacations, known for its stunning beaches, swaying palms, and enticing blue seas. Many come to enjoy the fantastic water sports, splash around in the sea, and soak up the sun. Its picturesque islands and archipelagos are home to several enthralling cities and immaculate natural reserves scattered both onshore and offshore. Many of its tropical islands are low-lying, while several are volcanic, with vibrant reefs located offshore and rough mountain ranges, jungles, and waterfalls covering their interiors. Here are some of the most stunning islands in the Caribbean. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. Number 20. Bermuda. Even if there are other Caribbean islands with pink sand beaches, Bermuda may have the best of them all. Though Elbow Beach is also worth a visit, Horseshoe Bay is the most well-known of these, with abundant photo opportunities and a thriving population of angelfish and sergeant majors. Go underground to the crystal and fantasy caves when you need a vacation from the sun, and take in the glistening reflections of stalactites in their transparent pools. Gosling's rum comes directly from St. George's Parish, so while you're on the island, make sure to sample a dark and amp, stormy drink and take a sunset sail. If finances are unrestricted, you could want to get a room at the renowned Hamilton Princess and Amp Beach Club for an opulent experience. The greatest time to go on a beach vacation is from May to October, which is high season. The air and ocean temperatures in Bermuda quickly rise during the spring, signaling the start of the hot summer. May highs are typically about 76 degrees Fahrenheit, but from June to October, they can spike up to highs of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 19, St. Vincent. Just like Mustique, St. Vincent, the largest island in the Grenadines, is a great place to go on vacation. Ascend the 4,000-foot-tall active volcano La Soufrière and descend into the crater for a close-up view of the lava dome. Traveling the two-mile Vermont Nature Trail through a portion of the 10,870-acre St. Vincent Parrot Reserve is a less taxing excursion that may yield sightings of the endangered species. Take time to explore the 20-acre botanical garden on the island, stop by the verdant Dark View Falls or Falls of Boleyn, and enjoy the panoramic vistas from Fort Charlotte before departing. To enhance your vacation even further, consider taking a yacht across the Grenadines. St. Vincent is made up of north-south volcanic mountains covered in dense forests and several small, swift-moving streams. There are no highways that cross the mountains. The northern volcano Soufrière has the highest summit at 4,048 feet 1,234 meters, which erupted strongly in 1812, 1902, 1979, and 2021. The island went through many phases as a colony and commonwealth state after coming under British control again. It finally became the last of the Windward Islands to gain independence following a vote in 1979. The island and the United States enjoy strong bilateral relations today. Number 18. Grenada. Grenada, a country in the Windward Islands, has enough cultural events and breathtaking natural features to occupy your time for several days. Granada, known as the Spice Island due to its rich history of producing cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice, is a great destination for all your baking and cooking requirements. Visit the Guyave Nutmeg Processing Station, a functional facility where you may buy the spice directly from the grower, or browse St. George's Market Square's Spice Market. Explore the world's first underwater sculpture park created by artist Jason DeCares Taylor or take in the views of one of the island's several waterfalls, such as Ocoin Falls and Annandale Falls. Sailing a classic wooden schooner might be a wise choice, as this is the boat-building hub of the Caribbean. Come when the delicious shoulder is in season. 
It's too busy in winter and spring, and too wet in summer, but late October is ideal. Choose late October or early November to visit Granada for the greatest weather and the best deals. Continue on Grand Anse if you make Grand Anse Beach your base, you may save a lot of money on transportation. Number 17. Curacao. Curacao, the sea in ABC Islands, can make you think of Amsterdam, namely Willemstad, the capital, where Handelskade Pier overlooks St. Anna Bay and is lined with vibrant Dutch architecture. Admire the architecture from Queen Emma Bridge, a swinging pedestrian bridge that connects the port cities Punda and Atrobanda districts, or while sipping beverages at an outdoor cafe. The beaches at Curacao are also exceptional. There are 35 beaches in all, so there's one for every mood and occasion, whether you want to party in Chantil, swim with sea turtles at Playa Pescado, or just relax and enjoy the sun at Playa Canapa Grande. Like the rest of the Caribbean, Curacao experiences a high season from December to April, with December often bringing warmer temperatures and less rain. January through April are perhaps the ideal months to visit the island because of the consistent trade breezes that reduce the heat and less rain. It is rumored that a previous island ruler ordered building exteriors to be painted any color other than white. He thought that the sun's bright reflections off the white buildings were the cause of his acute headaches. Number 16. St. Kitts. From historical attractions to outdoor adventures, this eastern Caribbean island has it all. Take a hike on the dormant volcano, Mount Liamwiga, at an altitude of 3,800 feet, to get a bird's eye view of the island's twin islands, St. Martin slash Saba. Snorkel on the coconut tree reef and explore the 144-foot shipwrecks known as the River Ta. Tour an 18th century fortification, the Brimstone Hill, in the UNESCO World Heritage Site designated Brimstone Hill Fortifications National Park. Ride the St. Kitts Scenic Railway, which runs through old sugarcane plantations and small villages, to the capital, Bastere, where you'll buy colorful batik fabrics from Caribbean Batik before heading to Frigate Bay for some beach bar hopping. From there, take the 45-minute ferry to Nevis, Street Kit's sister island, where you'll summit the nearly 3,000-foot Nevis Peak, 3,232 feet, hike the source trail over a cloud forest, watch for vervet monkeys along the way, or relax at Wally Beach. December through May, when it's usually milder and drier with temps in the early to mid-80s Fahrenheit, is the busiest travel period. From July to November, it gets a little bit rainier, cloudier, and hotter the latter part is also hurricane season but overall, there is little humidity and nearly constant sunshine. Number 15. St. Bart's. St. Barthélemy, an island in the Caribbean that is favored by celebrities such as Beyonce, Jay-Z, the Kardashians, and John Legend, is the pinnacle of luxury. If you're here to really spoil yourself, think about renting a boat or reserving a stay in a private villa or upscale hotel like Le Toyne or Cheval Blanc. Enjoy your days lounging on one of the numerous beaches on the island, exploring Gustavia's boutiques and art galleries, or kayaking or kite surfing at Anse de Grand Col de Sac. For sandwiches cooked with ultra-fresh ingredients, some of which are even flown in from France, stop by Maya's to go or make a reservation at Eddie's, one of the island's oldest eateries. The currency used in St. Barth is the euro. You will be given the check in euros when you eat out. Additionally, a lot of eateries will display the total in US dollars. Number 14. Cuba. 
Havana, the capital of Cuba, is a great place to satisfy your cravings for culture since it has a ton of museums, art galleries, jazz clubs, and amazing restaurants. The preferred literary work of author Ernest Hemingway, after which you ought to look around the hotel's Cold War era bunker. Admire the National Museum of Fine Arts collection of artwork spanning two centuries, take in live jazz performances at La Zorra y El Cuervo, and spend the evening dancing at one of the many salsa clubs in the city. Even though you might easily spend your whole vacation in Havana, you should visit Trinidad, a UNESCO World Heritage Site with buildings that date back to the 17th century. Citizens of the United States are permitted to visit Cuba as long as they give support to locally owned, non-government companies while they are there. In essence, you may go to Cuba in the same way as you would any place else. The climate is classified as tropical with semi-continental characteristics, maritime influence, and seasonal humidity. The wet season lasts from May through October. It is distinguished by the North Atlantic anticyclone's impact and by the lack of significant weather fluctuations. It is the dry season from November to April. Number 13, St. Martin and St. Martin. The Caribbean island, which is jointly ruled by the French and the Dutch, is made up of St. Martin, the French side, and St. Martin, the Dutch side. St. Martin offers hiking over an 8,800-acre natural reserve, the world's steepest zip line, and Mayo Beach, where you can watch jets take off and land at Princess Juliana International Airport. Enjoy additional hiking and zip lining at the 135-acre Lot Erie Farm, experience French Caribbean cuisine in the village of Grand Case, and unwind in Orient Bay, dubbed the Saint Tropez of the Caribbean. From December to April, which is the peak travel season, there is heavy traffic congestion. The island is ringed by a belt of roads that connects the Dutch portion of St. Martin to the French section of St. Martin. For emergency calls, cell phone service is dependable and accessible across the island. Number 12, Antigua. Antigua is the largest of the country's two islands and is well known around the world for its white sand beaches and turquoise waters. After all, it didn't get the nickname the land of 365 beaches for nothing. You could spend the whole trip sunbathing on one of the island's many sandy shores, from Half Moon Bay, the world's most famous beach, to Carlisle Bay, a lesser known but equally stunning beach surrounded by lush rainforest. If you're looking to get out on the water, head to Stingray City for a swim with stingrays, or go snorkeling around Pillar of Hercules where limestone geological formations attract a variety of marine life, from turtles and morai to barracuda and more. Round out your trip in English Harbor with a visit to Nelson's Dockyard, a historic fort. Winter through April is Antigua's prime travel season. Antigua experiences nice temperatures and minimal rainfall from mid-December to April. Even if the temperature and rainfall increase somewhat in May and June, these are still excellent months to visit Antigua. Number 11, Dominican Republic. The Caribbean's second largest nation is as varied as it is stunning. Landing in La Capital, or the country's capital, you'll find a wealth of cultural highlights. Visit the city's vibrant 16th century colonial city, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that's credited with being the America's first permanent settlement. Then soak up views of the state-of-the-art National Botanic Garden, shop in the bustling markets, and dance the night away amid merengue, bachata, and tango. If you're looking to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city for a change of pace, hike Pica Duarte, the Caribbean's highest mountain, or take a tour of Chocal, a women's-run cacao plantation near Palmer Grande. With 30 miles of shoreline, you're sure to hit the beach, whether you're lounging on Punta Canada's Playa Bavara or offshore on Sayona Island, part of the nation's largest national park. 
Although the Dominican Republic is mostly renowned for its beaches, there is much more to this Caribbean country. You will always be surprised by this place, from its stunning cities to its untamed interior. Aim for midsummer, 27 to 30 degrees Celsius, and carnival from December to March. June to November, 28 to 31 degrees Celsius, is the best time of year for nature enthusiasts to explore verdant landscapes. Travelers on a tight budget will discover that May through September, 28 to 32 degrees Celsius, provides discounts without compromising pleasures. Number 10. Jamaica Jamaica is the smallest of the four big islands that form the northern limit of the Caribbean Sea. It is situated in the Greater Antilles area. In addition to jerk food and live reggae music, this place offers visitors a wealth of natural treasures, such as stunning waterfalls that are reachable by hiking. Discover the capital of St. James Parish, Montego Bay. Negril is one of the greatest spots to start if you're traveling there for the first time for vacation. The greatest beaches in Jamaica are found in Negril, they're perfect for lounging by day and having a good time at night. Although there are public transportation alternatives in Jamaica that eliminate the need for a car, traveling in your own vehicle will be significantly more convenient and comfortable when seeing the island's top attractions. The roads are easily navigable by automobile and have good connections. The paved roads in all large towns are uneven in terms of how many potholes they have. Mid-December through April, during the dry season, is the ideal time to visit Jamaica. The ideal weather for exploring the beaches, jungles, markets, and cities is provided by the bright days and comfortable temperatures. Summer is also a fantastic season to come, especially in July when there is less rainfall. Number 9. Aruba Among the ABC Islands, a colloquial term for Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao, Aruba is arguably the most well-known. It is especially well-known for its enormous flamingo population. The island's well-known white sand beaches, Palm Beach and Eagle Beach are very picturesque, while windsurfers and surfers choose Hatakuri and Dos Playa. Almost 20% of the island is devoted to Arikoke National Park, which is home to arid landscapes, a limestone cave system, and a naturally occurring titipool. It's a well-liked holiday destination because of its stunning white beaches, mouth-watering fresh seafood, and wind-powered activities, but the island has much more to offer. For example, vibrant architecture, striking rock formations, peaceful natural landscapes, and a dynamic street art culture. Due to the fantastic weather and cheaper pricing, February through August are the ideal months to visit Aruba. Since it's after winter in the United States, when they get a lot of guests, May through September is also a fantastic time to visit, according to Feliciano. You'll find better deals for stays and lower prices. Number 8. St. Lucia It makes sense that St. Lucia is the most popular location for honeymooners. The Caribbean island, which has a centuries-old heritage of producing cacao, is a chocolate lover's paradise, with bean-to-bar estate tours, chocolate spa treatments, and bakeries and cafes serving up decadent delicacies. The 2.9-mile Gro Piton Trail is one of the most well-liked hiking routes in the Piton Mountains, which are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Take a mud bath at Sulphur Springs, snorkel at Jalousy Beach or Anse Chastanay, and, if you're ready to spend a little more, get a room at one of the well-known three-walled resorts in St. Lucia. Even though St. Lucia is a volcanic island, 
visitors believe that it has some of the greatest beaches in the world, including Anse Chastanay, Marigot Bay Beach, and Rodney Bay. These stunning white and golden beaches are among the Caribbean's best. African, French, and English cultural elements are blended into St. Lucian culture. Although English is the island's official language, Creole, or Creole, in English Creole, which is a variation of French Patois, is still widely spoken as a second language. Number 7. Virgin Gorda the British Virgin Islands are well-liked by travelers in part because they are among the safer Caribbean travel destinations. There are around 16 inhabited islands and cays out of the total 50. Go to Virgin Gorda to see Spanish Town and the Baths, the most well-known natural feature in the BVI. The Baths, which are known for their granite rocks, grottos, and tidal pools, are ideal for swimming, snorkeling, and taking picture-perfect Instagram shots. Discover the stone remnants of a copper mine by hiking to the island's highest peak, Gorda Peak, back in Spanish town. The island of Virgin Gorda has a limited road network, with only one extremely steep route connecting its north and south. Unless you want to spend all of your time at your resort, you will most likely need a car to move around for at least a few days during your visit. A family of four visiting the island should expect to spend between $6,000 and $12,000 on activities, housing, food, and transportation. Budget-conscious travelers may spend between $4,000 and $8,000, but if you choose to travel in style, you may easily spend between $12,000 and $35,000. Number 6. Puerto Rico Puerto Rico is the ideal place to experience the Caribbean if you don't have a passport. Explore the 150 native fern species and creatures, including the Coqui tree frog, on a hike through El Yunk National Forest, the only tropical rainforest in the national forest system of the United States. Embark on a glass-bottom kayak trip of one of the three bioluminescent bays in Puerto Rico, the most brilliant, Mosquito Bay is located on the tiny island of Vieques. Explore Old San Juan, the oldest city in the Western Hemisphere, for a whole day. All of this is included in one sun-kissed Caribbean paradise, magnificent beaches, magnificent mountains, rich history and culture, delicious cuisine and drinks, and experiences that uplift the spirit and body. There are many warm, inviting individuals in Puerto Rico who are known as Buena Gente, meaning nice and friendly in the Boracua language. The average daily cost of a trip to Puerto Rico might vary significantly based on your choices and manner of travel. But a fair approximation would be between $100 and $150 each day, which covers lodging, meals, travel expenses, and entertainment. Of course, based on your selections, this might be greater or lower. Number 5. Barbados Barbados, a country in the West Indies, offers a diverse range of attractions, including world-class surfing, beaches, and historical and cultural sites. Start your exploration of the island's history with a walking tour of Bridgetown led by characters of town. Next, snorkel with sea turtles with Calabaza sailing cruises and savor locally sourced cuisine at Treasure Beach's Tapestry Restaurant. Like to surf? Visit Bathsheba Beach, a favorite surf destination of Kelly Slater. There's no denying that Barbados boasts some of the world's most exquisite beaches. While the wilder beaches in Barbados on the east coast are thrilling to visit with enormous surf and stunning scenery, the tranquil Caribbean shore on the west is well known for its turquoise seas and gentle dunes. Due to the driest weather, December through June is the ideal time of year to visit it. 
the year-round climate of the island is warm and tropical, with highs typically reaching 30 degrees Celsius and 70% to 75% humidity. Number 4, Martinique. This French-speaking, and French-controlled, Caribbean island is not as touristy as some of the other Caribbean islands, but it does feel authentic and local, even though it can get busy. The island has many private beaches that are difficult to reach but well worth the effort, as well as many beautiful hiking trails. The best way to get around the island is by staying in Fort de France and exploring the island from the city. From the city, you can look up at Mount Pili Volcano, which wiped out the island's old capital, Saint-Pierre, in 1902. Mount Pili still smolders away today, and who knows when it might erupt again. Top attractions include the Route de la Trace, a visit to the Jardin de Balada Botanical Gardens, and a lazy day at Plage de Salines Beach. Travelers may easily navigate the area by taxi, bus, or rental vehicle. Main communities on the island are served by frequent lines of public transportation, which is quite well organized. But for places that are harder to get to, it's advisable to take a taxi or hire a vehicle in Martinique. Number 3, Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago are two very distinct Caribbean islands that go well together. Tobago complements Trinidad's exuberant nightlife and crazy parties with its serene beaches and natural surroundings. Prepare to calypso through the streets of Trinidad during the annual carnival if you want to celebrate like a genuine Caribbean and rumba the night away. Next, enjoy your vacation at one of Tobago's serene beaches while sipping a beverage with one hand and reading a book in the other. For excellent nature and bird watching, don't miss Pigeon Point and the Corbin Local Wildlife Park. With less than 500,000 people annually, it is the epitome of a hidden gem. Go no further, Trinidad and Amp, Tobago is the place you've been waiting for if you dream of a trip filled with isolated beaches with blue sea, a vibrant culture, and the best cuisine. The islands typically have a hot, sunny tropical environment with daily highs of about 28 degrees Celsius. The dry season, which begins in November and ends in May, is often when the nicest weather occurs. While showers or light rain are always a possibility, the majority of the days are lovely and clear. Number 2, Bahamas. In the Bahamas, there are plenty of things you can do. The Bahamas are made up of almost 700 islands, therefore they have everything. The Bahamas have an island that's perfect for you, whether you want to take a family vacation, party all night, vacation in luxury, or retreat to quiet beaches. The vibrant Nassau Island, which has a variety of opulent all-inclusive resorts that appeal to both party animals and families, is a well-liked vacation spot. On Andrus Island, visit the mangrove wetlands if you're looking for some nature don't miss a night at a fish fry to experience the Bahamas like a local. The culture of the Bahamas is distinct and has grown over centuries from a blend of African British and American influences to a distinctive and vibrant form of Bahamian self-expression. The best way to characterize Bahamians is as laid back, amiable, and welcoming. A typical family trip to the Bahamas costs roughly $630 per day. A week-long vacation should cost around $5,500 in total, taking into account airfare, lodging, food, entertainment, and mementos.
Number 1. Guadalupe. Guadalupe French Island is located near Basse Terra and Grande Terra as well as several other smaller islands. However, if you go, you'll probably remain on Grande or Basse Terra. Foodies and easygoing travelers who like to spend their time relaxing and doing nothing will find it to be a popular destination. The island is home to amazing eateries that provide seafood meals with a Caribbean flair and freshly caught fish coated with spices. Enjoy the island's sunny beaches or travel into the hills to explore the tropical vegetation when you're in the mood for something more active. On the island of Basterra, there is an exciting hiking trail up the active La Grande Sofriere volcano. Large numbers of fruits such as bananas, carambolas, coconuts, guavas, and passion fruit are found across the archipelago. Guadalupean food heavily features spices. To make the most of island time, just unwind and have fun while you're waiting. The euro is the currency in use in Guadalupe. While some places could accept US dollars, it's advisable to use major credit cards mostly for larger transactions and cash for smaller ones. We hope you enjoyed the top 20 Caribbean islands with us. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel please. See you soon.